Since then, everyone, welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile Legacy League. Uh, the last episode, we've been kind of showing off our animate weapon, and I'm ready to play some more. Gotta get into maps. We're in Warehouse District today. We're gonna try and to do, we're going to try and do uh, some piety, followed by, um, followed by Dominus. And then, uh, hopefully, we get to dry lake farming by the end of today. I think we will. That doesn't sound like too... doesn't sound too difficult. Um, so that's sort of the plan. I... Keeping, like, an inventory of just a bunch of animated weapons is still kind of hard to do. But, at the same time, you can kind of see where this build is going, right? Like... It, it has a lot of potential to do fuck, to do good damage um, and uh, even you know without optimal item drops or animate weapon drops it's it's still clearing these areas pretty nicely my major concern right now uh, is how we're gonna move to CI it, it's been on my mind for a while now and probably the plan is, like, I still want to take life nodes, just in case I'm not ready for CI just yet. 2500 HP is way too low to go into maps. Um, so what I'm going to do is, on a passive tree, I'm going to start taking the armor and ES nodes, so I can kind of move towards, you know, uh, getting some more energy shield uh, without having to refund too many points in the future. That's kind of like a compromise way of doing it. Um, not optimal still because the best way or the way you probably want to do it is just to go full life until you're ready to go CI refund everything and then you know you're just kind of good to go but I'm not ready to do that just yet so let's uh well, let's start well first of all let's start taking eternal life flask because I'm still on sanctified what the hell but yeah let's start uh, taking armor ES nodes and then when I can when I'm ready I can just refund um, my life nodes without having to waste too many refund points. Um, so basically, this is my way of doing the transition without having to waste too much money refunding. Because I, I'm not too sure how much money I'll have to spend otherwise. Um, so that's the plan. Okay, let's, let's get in here. And, like, the more I think about it, I think that's a pretty sound plan as well. So the plan is we're going to take this node... And then we're going to take these four life and energy shield nodes. Still going to get some life. Not as much, you know, because these give you 5%. This only gives you, what, 3% life. And then I'm going to take this node and I'm going to take these uh, these ones right here. So more life ES. And then I'll just straight up, you know, click on CI. Uh, refund all these nodes here. And then I'll get, you know, these CI nodes. And it'll get these energy shield nodes. And hopefully we'll have the gear to go with that. We're still going to have a couple life nodes over here that we can, you know, hopefully refund in the future by going this way. Um, but yeah, until then, you know, I still want to have at least like 3,000 life so we can survive and farm dry lakes and all that. So I can't, I can't be out of the woods just yet with regards to that, so... You know, we, we kind of have to focus on both. And if I... Oh my goodness, all these ranged weapons, amazing. Ow. You know what, I'm going to drop one of these ranged weapons. Let's use it. Yo, M. Since in Papa Dragoon. Oh, Dragoon! How's it going, bud? Thank you for the follow. I hope you're having a good Monday, man. I hope you had a good weekend. Over here, you know, we're finally getting some spring weather. I don't know about you guys. And it's been feeling great. I went uh, I went to the park this weekend and to watch some of them. The Sakura Blossoms. It's fucking beautiful. And uh, other than that, Animate Weapon is you know, starting to come online. I'm pretty excited about that. Killed a 5 essence earlier while running a T12. Holy shit, dude. There are two things that are essentially the bane of my existence that, you know, I've, I've concluded at least. Um, essences and uh, 
breaches. Like, those things have just been fucking me over for the last couple leagues. Perandis is pretty bad, but I've gotten used to those. Weather is nice here? That's nice. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! When I'm ready, I'm not I think I need to raise some more ranged weapons. Oh, Cole is there. I definitely need to raise some ranged weapons. Wow, he got wrecked though! I still have some very minor challenges that I need to get done. Like, um, uh, touching an echoing shrine? Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard, but I, I can't believe I still haven't found one yet. It's crazy. Uh, Dragoon says, I've been running Breach plus Beyond plus Nemesis slash Onslaught. I heard that this new uh, Beyond patch actually made like a huge difference. Currently doing my uh, thousand tier six plus tri league stones. Nice. Yeah, I still have a lot of challenges to do. That's sort of the focus at this point. Besides, you know, actually getting the build to come online, but like, that's gonna happen eventually. The challenges are still, still a challenge. I'm only at two hundred and four days. Well, that means you just got, you know, what is that? Two hundred four days. You have 16, 16 more days to go, and you'll be done. <laughs> That's actually a really long time, actually. Need to think about it. 16 days of far Like, if you've been, like, non-stop farming and going hard, and then you think back, you're like, fuck, 16 more days, like, two more weeks of doing this shit? It's pretty tough, man. I'm speeding up, though? Okay, that's good. What, uh, what build are you running, Dragoon? I've gotten, like, nearly 60 today. Nice. Oh, you know what? Every time I switch zones, it's probably like the perfect time for me to go sell stuff, you know, put stuff in the stash, make more space. Because I don't need to worry about any of my weapons being unsummoned. Like, this is the time, boys. RF Totems. You have a job. Nearly 90. That sounds pretty fun. RF totems. It's been a while since I've like heard anyone mention that build. A lot of people just like to go, you know, straight RF. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Pontus gave me the idea. Nice. Yeah, Sneasel has some like pretty cool builds, I think. Uh, removes bleeding. Okay, I guess I can switch with this. Wait. Yes, okay. And then I have a couple of range weapons. I have a bunch of league stones. Let's put in uh, anarchy. There. Uh, Cecil gave me the idea since I like totems. The ED build I got from QD flopped really hard. At 92, I couldn't run T6 with max gear. Really? Is that just because it wasn't good defensively? ED is supposed to be pretty strong. But like, RF is definitely like a lot tankier. All right, let's go. Let's finish up Heidi. Oh my God, the damage here is insane. We go in clear speed, boys. And kill everything.
No, my DPS was map with max wither was a hundred K. What? I'm quite sure ED goes higher than that. When I'm ready, hmm, I'm interesting. Cool. Well, you know what? At least you got to level 92. That's already like pretty good. It's better than a lot of other people. It was actually awful. Well, at least you're enjoying your build now, right? Live and you learn, man. I still feel bad about it. I stick to builds way too hard. It happens to me too, you know? I get pretty stubborn with my builds. You guys pr will probably know, actually. Which is why I have to, like, force myself to, you know, kill off my characters. If I don't do it, I just get stuck with it forever. No matter how bad it is. Oh, damage. I'm... Cough, cough, Siege Ballista? Yo, don't diss the Siege Ballista. It was a real thing. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Not the way I built it. <laughs> uh, we go this way. Siege Ballista without Iron Commander. Oh man. That build was... It was fun while it lasted, to be honest. But after it died, I'm like, well, you know what? I'm ready for something new. Non-Iron non Commander Siege Ballista just... I mean, it's still a thing. I'm sure someone could make it a thing. But trying to make it perma-stun... To have or have the damage for perma stun, like that was hard. You need a lot of damage, man. And uh, I couldn't do it with the gear ahead. The stat says, but that's what I like. You play like me, having an idea and then kind of winging it. Yeah, it's basically how I roll. And then you learn from it, right? Or at least I learn from it. I hope I do. There's so many builds out there that, you know, every now and then... I, I think at this point in the league, I play like one kind of meta build. And then I play one where I just like fuck around. Like, I'm quite... I think the animated weapon here is like a little meta. A little? Maybe... It's not full meta, is it? Anyways. But the Baron Summoner, it was still a little meta, but for a while I've been meeting to do it. So like, I play one build where it's like, I have no idea whether it's going to work or not, I'm just going to wing it. And then the other build, it's like, okay, let's go online, do some research, just to see what everyone else is running. And then I base my, you know, decision on that. Alright, let's kill this fuck. Goodbye! I lost two animate weapons for that. It was you I wasn't very fond of. But uh, I guess we're done here. It's more fun than just copy and paste. I play PoE on the math side of it. Probably really bad to do so. Well, that's where the min maxi stuff comes in, right? I think some people really enjoy that, like building spreadsheets and all that crap. I used to do that a lot, and then eventually I'm like, dude, I just want to play. Um, let's see. Let's keep these weapons. I think I want to animate some of them. Oh, and do you even have a wand? Yes. Be well. Car leaks don't look in. They're looking okay. Grigor, my man. Two passive points. Yes. Okay, let's take that and let's take this. Uh, I love doing those things for games, the math side of it. Pontus say, I play the game wrong because of it. <laughs> Dude, 
th there's no way of playing the game wrong, you know? You play the game to play. Do what you enjoy, man. That's the whole point. That's why, that's why whenever somebody judges me on my builds, I'm like, man, I'm having fun. Maybe it's not fun to watch, but I'm having fun. Okay, uh, got all these league stones. Let's just let's run Tempest next. <clears throat> what challenges do I, am I still missing? Like really? I need to master craft. Like that's no problem. I need to touch an echoing shrine. Okay. I need to kill a very specific rogue exile. I need to kill veil bosses. So it's like invasion, I guess. I need to claim essences. Uh, we gotta wait till map so we do that. Unique invader. So once again, we need a lot of invasion. Parandus. Hopefully that gets done eventually. Kill Malachi. Kill talisman bosses. Complete prophecy chains. We should start doing this again. Um, beyond demons. Ah, oh, prophecy chain. Prophecy chain. It's time to start seeking prophecies again. Gotta just get them all. Gotta catch them all. You will slay a powerful... Okay, discover an area with many devourers. You will use... Okay. You will encounter a very powerful invading monster and slay it. Okay, I need to check all of these just in case. Like, that one time I fucked up where I got a... Uh, the five link jeweler prophecy and I accidentally used it on a silver branch? Like, never again, man. Uh, I mean, you could be like my first build. Double strike, multi-strike, faster attacks, melee physical, melee splash with double Diodis. That was bad. Wish me luck. T12, corrupted, unid, crematorium. Oh man, good luck with that. Feels rip, man. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do. Uh, let's go do Dominus. I'm ready. I think. Oh fuck! I don't have any weapons ready. Here, let's just summon this thing. Kill stuff, so I can summon more stuff. There we go. There we go. Some good weapons. That's probably enough to take to the other side. I'm thinking of still doing Scorch and Ray Totems. I want so bad, but I don't have the gear. Dude, every single league, there are like so many builds I want to run. And yeah, it basically comes down to I don't have the gear or I don't have the time. Um, just got to do it, man. Just do it. Build up the gear. Or just force yourself to do it. You know? Alright, let's drop a couple of these. Ah, uh, do I need that many? Maybe this. That's good enough. Oh yeah, I'm next. I found two Exalted and three Divine in Tier 1 white maps? You mother... Congratulations, man. I'm not salty at all. Okay, you, to be fair, you guys play a lot more than me. So it's like, when you find stuff, I'm like, ah, how do you get so fucking lucky? And it's like, how much do you play against? Like, oh, well, like four times more than Mnix. I'm like, okay. Well, okay, fine. Feels PJ salt, man. I'm not salty. That's not salt. I'm just dumping sugar on you as, as a congratulations. That's all. Rip indeed. Oh man, let's that. Did you die already in the map? I hope not. Okay, we need to get to Dominus, which is this way. Mnix don't dump sugar at me, I'm diabetic. 
Oh no, what have I done? Not like this. Feels dead, man. Yeah, I, I died, but it's not hardcore, so just go again. Eh, yeah, fair. I think when you play solo self, like, you can only pick one, okay? Unless you're, you're a real... Real glutton for punishment, you know? Just either pick solo self found or pick hardcore. If you do both, it's just really painful. Oh, God. Because it's just so hard to do. You'll be stuck in, like, early progression for so long. It's not fun. Like, I know there are some people, like, Alkaiser, you know, I think... I don't think Ziz does solo self found. Like, Rise does solo self found. Like, all those guys, they do solo self found, and it's, like, in hardcore as well. It's like, oh, dude. I've tried it once, right? Just trying it, and after doing it, I'm like, no, never again. It's too hard. Glutton for punishment. And next PGing masochist. <laughs> yes. So I did do that, Stay out of the shed. and I will never do that again. But, like, hardcore in softcore, I'm okay with that. That I'm okay with. I think, some, somebody said this to me once, I think it was Curtis, he was like, you know, Mnix, I think you are, you like the idea of clear speed and playing efficiently, um, but just the idea of do of it, like not actually doing it. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. Like, I like the idea of of you know, like getting super good gear and doing like a lot of clear speed, getting all kinds of drops, finishing maps in five minutes. But like actually executing, like that's just not up my alley. So I'm like, oh man, you guys have such cool, such clear speed, so cool. Like, such wow! And then, like, they're like, oh, you want to try, like, running a map with me? I'm like, nah. Nah, I prefer my maps to take, like, six minutes long. <laughs> Hardcore and softcore. Feels like I've learned so much watching Nugi play SSF Hardcore. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, solo self out, what I can say for it is that you learn a lot about the game's mechanics. Because you you don't just have to resort to like or you don't have to use trading as a crutch, right? Like oh my like my survivability is bad or my leveling is so slow. Uh, I'm just gonna go online and like buy you know two or three leveling items. Solo self found you can't do that crap. You have to like abuse or not abuse. You have to use the games like what the game gives you like all those um, vendor recipes and you know like chaos recipe like all that crap. Like you have to use everything. So. In that sense, like, there's a lot of learning uh, available when you just switch up the style of playing, um, which is fine. It's definitely fine. Oh yeah, I am. I have Volker's key and Inya's key already. So you're gonna do the Pale Council. I don't know if the Pale Council is worth it anymore. Like, does anyone even buy Reach of the Council? Obviously, if you've never done it before, then yeah, go ahead. Right? Like, I've never done the Pale Council, and if I were you, I'd be super excited because I really want to fight them. Um, but trade, I don't know if you'll make a profit, I guess is what I'm saying. With Just with this character? Ah, fucking hell. Yeah, I have to, I have to finish my Prophecy Chains. Should do that soon. Willow and I tried doing Temple since he tried saying you don't need an HP roll on a chest piece. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. That's waypoint. I'm not doing it for profit though, I'm doing it to make it hard on myself. Good man, good man. That's the way to my heart. All 
All right, upper scepter. Get some of them bows. Which can either be, you know, like a weapon for fighting at range. Or, you know, an expensive sound system that actually isn't... How good is Bose, the sound system? Or, like, the quality of their products? Like, I've never seen people... Like, a lot of people get, like, Shures. And... Is Bose, like, up there? I don't know. Is Bose to headphones, like... Alienware is to computers? I've always wondered. I thought Bose was good. Okay, maybe maybe I've just been hearing some bad things from my from like the people I know. Way to Mnix's heart is making it hard. Cap of pride. No comment. I don't know a lot, a lot about the entire market, so take so don't take my words too seriously. Yeah, I honestly I don't know much either. But uh, yeah. always I was always curious. Like I, like my friends like like when it comes to like high tier headphones, I always see them with something like uh uh oh fuck. Like maybe Sennheisers, I see that a lot. Um, some people have Sony headphones. Wait, do they? I know some people have Shures. I see a lot of Sennheisers. I see some like Audio Technicas, but I never see the Bose ones. Like my buddies never buy them, and they're all like headphone. Like they love headphones and shit, you know. I I don't know if it's like oh it's too mainstream or something. Like I don't know. Oops, clumsy me. Do I have enough weapons to bring to Dominus? Oh, wait. After you fight his, his bitches, they drop a lot of it. Okay, I'm not worried. Maybe some of this stuff. <clears throat> Alright, after Dominus, just do a little bit of Act 4 and then I can start doing maps, dude. It's almost, almost there, man. Almost there. Stairs. If you want a good headset slash sound system, why not take what you use now and check it against other brands? Fair. I, I used to be like pretty into headphones and stuff. And then after a while, I'm like, dude, these days you're just like listening to music on Spotify. You're not even listening, you know, on like high... High encodings and bit rates, so it's like, what's the point, you know? It's not gonna sound better than whatever you're streaming at. So it's not worth getting, you know, good headphones for it. I've, I've gotten to that point where I'm like, ah, I don't care anymore. Okay, I have four weapons. A couple more would be nice. Yeah, that's probably good. You invite the master that called you here? Which? Get him, my minions! Get him! All oh, the damage! Everything's dying! I'm not doing shit! Have you ever seen the true face of God, exile? Die in awe! Yo, seriously, though? You're getting wrecked. There's just so much damage with this build. It's such a good boss killer. Is it better than summon raging spirits? I don't know. Well, I don't have to sit there and cast. That's for one thing. Fuck yeah. If you need just temp throwaways, just get gummies, the earbuds. It's for your phone or something. If you're using the PC, you might as well get a cheap sound system like a decent set of speakers. Yeah, I don't have really good speakers. Um, I use my headphone a lot, and I have a decent set of headphones. Um, they're like these Sennheiser closed ear ones. They're really comfortable, and I got them on sale for like uh, 99 bucks, but they retail for like 
$2.99. So they're nice. Um, they're really, the sound quality is pretty decent, but the big thing is it's just like, it's big and it's over the ear, so it's like really comfortable. I really don't like the closed ear ones, or no, the open ear ones where they, uh, or sorry, not over the ear ones, where they just like, they're like a little bit smaller and they like kind of squeeze your ear. And since I'm playing so often, um, I like them better where it's like, it, it surrounds your ear, you know? I'm like, whatever about quality it's more about the comfort at this point but it's kind of nice to know who the leading makers are you know actually now that i think about it what is it dre beats is the is to headphones that alienware is to laptops right like everyone hates on dr dre's fucking Beat headphones. Lestat says, Yes, I did it. The map, only one death, not that bad. Sweet, congrats. I'm fucking devourers, man. Ah, do I want to go in there? I don't. Oh, man. Fat finger macros, best macro. Pop that granite and basalt at the same time. Let's go. I'm using a cheap closed ear headset called Sades. They're nice and comfy. I got a headset for like 40 USD. There's 32 at least so far, nearly a year old. Nice. Oh, I'm out of range weapons. Fat finger macro. That's a Roth's reach. Dude, without like that prerequisite number of uh, anime weapons, the damage is kind of shit. It's kind of obvious, but. Still like to point that out. Also, M next you might be dropping frames. Can't tell since I'm running the stream on my third monitor. Really? Hold up. I have it running on my phone. Let me see. I'll keep an eye on it while I play. Let's grab these. I keep getting skips every once in a while. Every once in a while, like it would slideshow every few minutes, last like five seconds. I don't think I'm dropping frames. Here's what I can do. I can up the bitrate a little. Are you guys uh, turning down the quality? The transcoding options are there, right? Okay, I'm gonna up it. And hopefully that'll make it better. I don't know. I run it at source all the time because of my beefy computer. Okay. If you say so, man. I'm up in it. Uh, if you change bitrate, you don't need to reset stream. That's the one thing you don't have to do. So when I on the days I have transcoding, I can like turn it up a little. And I think today's one of those days. Kill the bird! Yeah, maybe it's the older OBS. The new ones are uh, pretty good. Pretty easy to use, really.
Crystal Wang. That's how I read it every time. Crystal Wang sounds like a shitty glass dildo. Hey man, don't diss glass dildos. I bet some people like live off of that shit. Oh, I'm in Act 4, dude. That's pretty exciting. That means I'm pretty much in maps. I would hope they don't, that would terrify me. Dude, on the internet, like, anything's possible, I'm just saying. Be careful. Feels act four, man. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. I'm back, boys. I'm back. Alright, so I have a couple of these going. I should just stop picking up random shit. Maybe it's about time to stop doing that. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at these legacy stones, what we can do with them. Uh, I have some more invasion. Lucrative bloodlines. Here's a tempest. Here's another tempest. Um, tempest. Bloodlines, sure. And then, I don't need five. Like three ranged weapons would be enough. And uh, let's do uh freaking... Freaking dried lakes, I want to say. But first, let's call it an episode because... It's been 30 minutes, we're in Act 4. Next episode... Uh, we're gonna be farming a little bit of dried lakes. We're gonna try and get the passive point in Act 4, and then we can hopefully start maps soon. Um, I think for the rest of today, we're just gonna be doing some farming, get some currency, uh, get some more levels. I'd like to at least hit level 72, 73 before we do maps. Why? Because I just want to have those passive points available um, so that I can start my transition into CI. Uh... It won't be long, man. It won't be long. But that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, soon.